Hello kiddos, welcome back to Notebooks to Projects. We're in session nine today. And our teaching point for today is that writers use past mentor texts to help draft by thinking about past mentor texts and writing pieces and creating their own checklists. What are we trying to achieve today? We wanna to think hard about our previous writing units. Remember some mentor text craft moves, those things, things that they did really well and then create our own checklists for the genre we chose. So we're going to be moving in next session to the drafting session. Today is the last day before drafting. So if you have not caught up to this part of the writing process, you swiftly need to catch up with us now. So I want to remind you guys that in the last session, we decided on a purpose and we moved forward thinking about how that purpose would sound in different types of writing. So my purpose that I'm modeling is educating kids on how to help the environment because I chose that prompt, right? And then here is how different genres of writing would sound for that purpose. For opinion and argument essay, how would it sound? I jotted it down. For persuasive essay, how would it sound? I got to jot it down. And for narrative, how would it sound as a story? I jotted some details down here. And then for a poem, I decided that it might sound good as a collection of poems, okay? So I want you to make sure that you guys have chosen a genre moving forward. So if you haven't done so, you're going to pause the video, go back to session eight in the writing folder, look over these notes in your T-chart, and decide on one genre. So I decided today that I want to go with narrative. I want to choose narrative because my idea of how my purpose would sound as a story was my strongest, right? And I think it would be really interesting too. And I wanna step outside the box because I'm not usually one to choose narrative. So I'm gonna choose narrative for my writing project moving forward. So now we're gonna take a look at what we're doing today. I wanted to restate my purpose. I chose narrative. My purpose again was educating kids on how to help the environment. And now I have a mentor text checklist that I filled out in advance. And you guys are going to have this exact same T-chart set up in your Google Docs. On the left side, you'll see writer's moves. And on the right side, you'll see in my writing. So the left side, the purpose of it is to brainstorm, right? We want to think this is that step in our teaching point about past mentor texts and writing pieces. So I remember in our narrative unit, we watched, we read Fireflies aloud, right? And I remember what the author did well was that she introduced the characters and setting in the beginning. It helped me, the reader, to visualize the setting. So on the right side of my T-chart, I then wrote how I'm going to then carry that into my own writing. I will introduce my characters and setting in the beginning, making sure my readers can picture my setting. So you guys see how I get this done? The left side has a right, writer's craft move. And the right side has how I'm going to use that in my own writing, okay? And you guys should be doing this for your mentor text checklist as well. If you chose um, opinion essay, if you chose persuasive essay, if you chose a collection of poetry, right? So my second writer's move was that the author made sure to use inner thinking. I remember that really well about Fireflies. So we knew more about the character, right? So now I know in my story, I will make sure to use inner thinking for my characters. That's a really big deal. My last one is that the author made sure to create a story where the character, the main character or reader learns something. So I want to make sure that I will include a lesson that could be learned by the reader or a character in the story. These are three things that I'm going to carry over from what I remember, all that great work we did in past um units, I'm going to carry those craft, those writer's moves over into my own writing. So by the end of this, everyone should have three writer's moves based on the genre that you're using for your writing piece. And then you're going to write three ways that that will carry over into your own writing. Okay. If you're choosing literary essay or persuasive essay, um, remember that we always need to have a strong claim, right? Um, okay, so moving forward, we want to go over really quickly our teaching point for today was that writers use past mentor texts to help draft by thinking about past mentor texts and writing pieces and creating their own checklists. What are we trying to achieve? We want to think hard about our previous writing units, remember some mentor text craft moves, and create our own checklists for the genre we choose. 
for the success criteria, how are you going to be successful with this, this session? You're going to open up the writing session nine Google Doc. Everyone's been given one. You're going to decide which genre you're going to choose moving forward. So make sure that you choose from your work from session eight. Is it going to be a poem? Is it going to be a narrative? Is it going to be an opinion essay or a persuasive essay or a literary essay even? Um, and then step three, you want to think what craft moves did writers make with that genre? So what did those writers, those mentor texts we looked at, what did they do well? You can use your teacher's text. What did your teacher do well in their essays? What did your teacher do well in their poems? You want to fill in the T chart with three writer's moves, okay? And then jot down what you will make sure to do in your own writing on the right side of the T chart, okay? If you can step up your rigor by, try at, by trying to add more writer's moves to your T chart, don't just stop at three, guys. You can do it. So good luck, guys. This is the last step before we start drafting. You will be using this checklist in your future sessions to look back at your writing and help you revise. So make sure you get this done. Make sure you have a purpose and make sure you've chosen a genre to move forward with for this project. We're nearing the end, guys. Good luck, guys. Have a good day.